Taurus, how are we going guys? Okay, so happy new year and this is your January 2019. Okay, so this is Sun, Moon, Rising or Venus for Taurus, January 2019. If you would like a reading, everything has been updated and it's all in the description. Okay, prices and everything to do is all in the description. Okay, songs will also be in there if I have any, as I normally do. Okay, so Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising or Venus. January 2019 and I will update weeklies and bonuses and stuff through the month okay to help people out Wow so payday uh, finding equality finding balance um, I mean sharing is caring sharing is caring so you might be finding the goodness within somebody um, somebody that is financially abundant okay or that you are financially abundant okay but this is basically sharing and caring because these are people that kind of like work in a care home or something like that something that's stable okay in the background um, but somebody that is very wise influential okay but knows about quality and alignment within themselves of, of um, ascension okay alignment but you could have distance between you and someone else there could be distance between someone else but you're finding equality because there's three here and there's three here okay and then there's four here but there's like separation of avoidance too um, so this can mean so many different things separate between work finances career or you're separated from someone that you want to find stability with okay or family or something like that or just basically payday so Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. So I have the Five of Swords. So this is kind of maybe from the past. Maybe from the past. Um, I mean, this is self deceit, self deception. Okay, this is also, I mean, on a brighter note, okay, this is also um, someone that's intelligent can be as well, okay, spiritually intelligent. Um, but it also can mean deceit. Um, someone could be, you could have an air sign quality maybe looking, um, so two people two people could have been left out in the cold maybe two people or something from the past like a passing energy okay could be left out in the past and the two the two swords of growth have kind of like dropped okay so like I'm walking off but also like looking at so two people could or one person could have been playing mind games or something like that okay and then you have one person that is kind of um, which is the three of swords which is kind of that has had heartbreak in the past, okay? And now they're looking at someone new through that is abundant and that can share and care and that wouldn't cause mind games, okay? Because you have the page of cups that is offering to self deceit, maybe. So someone could have been offering, like, um, I mean, this is like a, a very slow progression of um, an offer, can be, okay? And someone could have come back from the past or will be or something like that, okay? But wanting to find stability is looking in this direction of stability now because because someone, two people have left or one person has left or, or something, okay? Uh, and it's been a heavy burden or will be a heavy burden. But then you have Scorpio energy too, which is um, transformation. But it's below the 10, so it's kind of like um, accepting change, change. <laughs> accepting change okay or someone could be or someone could have been draining your energy and taking your money and not accepting change and then taking your change and taking your money okay taking your money and taking your stability of home life okay but we'll see um, could have something to do with the Virgo maybe okay Taurus Sun Moon Rising or Venus Taurus Sun Moon Rising or Venus yeah, quality. So finding balance again. So Scorpio energy has trying to find balance, trying to find balance. Um, 
because this is also kind of a quality as well, or someone's just taking, 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 but we won't know until we uh, clarify. Um, because this is also like a passing and also a return because it's a five, it's like an uncompleted cycle. So it can mean like a cycle of something that's been from the past that's continued. Can be narcissism. You know, narcissism is mind games and extreme mind games and manipulation that keep you in that five of five. Okay. Um, but through that past, when you learn to form equality and you accept transformation and you, you walk towards something new and you accept your transformation. You know, as, as Tauruses, we can be very stuck because I have a descendant in Taurus, okay? Um, and that's very fixed, okay? <laughs> but when we find out, we find equality because we learn to steer our, um, we steer our own destiny in our direction, okay? Because regardless of whether it goes back or whether it goes forward, we learn more or, or not. We learn through pain from the past in order to accept transformation, in order to forget it, to move forward, to move forward, to find equality in someone new. So if this is talking about someone from the past, okay, that's been taken from the home life, okay, they may be trying to make offers or something, or you can be in a new direction, okay. Um, and it's been an ending because 10 is an ending, so you've dropped the burden, okay? Accepting transformation and then finding equality in someone new, okay, Taurus? Because I know you, you guys had a, an extremely difficult time, you know, um, through... Yeah, so that came out again. So you've got the Queen of Pentacles, and then below that you've got... So this is like a passing energy, right? This is a passing energy. This is someone that is very caring and very giving, but... Their past actions of people treating them like shit have just kind of left them wondering in what direction to go. But they still have that passion in them. They still have that that fire energy to, to lead. This is the one wand of leadership. But it's slightly guarded. It's slightly guarded. It's kind of like I'm still a little defensive because of dropping a burden, you know. But this is still a really, you know, it, it really does depend. It really does depend. Um, but you could have been very defensive from someone that's made you feel this way, okay? And they are still continually, because that gives a 10, so that's a cycle of 10. That's either releasing a burden or still carrying it, because the picture, whether it's reverse or not, it's still a 10. Whether it's that way or that way, it's still a 10. It's either completed because it's a 10 and you form a new cycle with the same person and you don't learn, and you don't accept change and you stick with that person if they've continued to make you feel like this okay this is like past situationships okay or you drop you are dropping the burden okay and then you're accepting transformation or will well through advice okay and then you find stability within your emotions and your feelings and groundedness and this is someone that is very stable. It doesn't matter of feminine or masculine. It doesn't matter. This is someone that is very committed. Very committed to children, to money, to finances, to building a home, to building a career, to building love with that person that they're supposed to be with. You know, uh, could be thing about being fertile, pregnancy, you, them, both of you. Okay. Um, so, so basically, advice so far. If that a person has caused that much mind games and manipulation completely then your advice is the new the new okay um could have something to do with libra or just basically generally or sagittarius and gemini you've got sagittarius and gemini under that but i won't take those cards but underneath those you have sagittarius and gemini okay and okay so i've got to see these okay so you had, we'll put these back afterwards, okay, so you've got something to do with, with, from the past, okay, these cards, from the past, now this is codependency, this is someone very codependent, so if it's from the past, it's very toxic and very codependent, very in and out communication blocked and then in and out and then blocked, mind games and manipulation, keeping you in decision and very 
imbalanced, okay, very imbalanced. <laughs> and that could be causing the, the self-deceit maybe, okay, sorry about that, um, and that there was an injustice, or if you find the new, that can just mean that you have Capricorn in your chart, or they do, Gemini, Sagittarius somewhere, or Pisces, okay, because that's the ancient ruler of Pisces, um, but these are all Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, um, that, and that is like communication, so you've got to pick where you are, okay, but we'll try and find out. Um, so can you tell me, can you tell me more about the Five of Swords, please, the Five of Swords, the Five of Swords, because codependency, right, transformation when it's not accepted <laughs> you have to well you regardless of whether you accept it or not if you don't accept transformation people get very 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 self-destructive and they go on their path and that'll teach you a valuable lesson of where if you don't transform and you don't move away things will get worse because they've always been the same as the cycle of five they've always been the same you can't change someone that's the same because they don't want to change and they will constantly do that, and you will only know where you are, Taurus. Okay, um, if they don't change, it's because they won't. You know that is also narcissism. Um, but five of swords, yeah. Wow, well, self deceit, self deceit. So running from responsibility, someone from the past, because it is a past. That's like a returning energy and a passing energy. So that's someone that comes in, takes something, and then goes, and then comes in, takes something, and then goes. Okay, from your home life, what I was saying about pointing at this, they take your money, they come and ask to borrow money, they come and ask to borrow anything, they come and ask you to use you for something, they use you for something, and then it takes away the stability of the home life that doesn't form, then it forms what I said about the separation and avoidance between you, your family, everyone else's family, you know, your own family, you, you, you just, you, because you're confused, okay, you get confused because narcissism is confusing, because you end up believing them, but then they come in, they take something, and they go away. That's extreme narcissism. You know, there are things on my channel to help people through narcissism. Because you can also think that you also have narcissistic tendencies. Because we do have healthy narcissism of control. And we do have, I mean, we all have control issues, but some people are, like, narcissistic and they don't change. There's, n there's not a cure for someone that is extremely, extremely narcissistic. If it's to do with soulmate energy, okay, that's just a strong attra attraction to someone that's trying to teach you. Well, not trying. They're, they're basically blatantly doing it in your face of saying that you need to move away. That you, No matter how strong your attraction is to what's happened in their past. Everything through narcissism extreme is, is to do with childhood, right? But the big illusion is, is that, that, that that's the way they are. And that they will use that as a manipulation tool to get you to feel sorry for them if you are a caring, nurturing person. Like the Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising or Venus or basically that kind of person that has children, motherhood and that does have empathy. Okay, These people don't have empathy. They go away, Okay, they take something and they go away but they don't feel it because they don't have empathy. They just think it and then they just don't care because they keep doing it, they don't care, because they keep doing it, but they get very over emotional, can start crying and kind of like wanting, and there's loads of things with narcissism, that's why it's so confusing, of where when you move away completely from them, okay, you then form a quality in someone new, because someone new helps you, the, the, the new, the new person creates a stable too, okay, so someone that's very caring and nurturing, is kind of like, what I was saying about the new, you go in that direction. Um, but that's that's something to do with the past of narcissism, okay, and someone taking from the home, okay, could have something to do with a Libra, could have, but but or generally overly, it's trying to find karmic balance and justice, okay. Justice only comes in when you do not, when you do not. Like when you're, like if you're involved with someone that's really fucking narcissistic, and you know that, and you know that, Taurus, right? J 
Justice is saying that in order to gain, you have to receive a loss because that's why it's called a firm foundation of rebuilding the tower. The tower rebuilds itself because you have to accept um, sacrifice, which is what we do with Lucifer and the devil of what we showed through here. Okay, someone's doing that, been doing that a lot. Okay, so you know if you feel that way all the time and have done from the past, that the great sacrifice is are you willing to sacrifice someone that's going to treat you that fucking bad from the past so you have to experience a loss to rebuild yourself and everything so you have to experience some people have to experience great amounts of loss okay but when you experience the great amount of loss and you find the caring and nurturing in someone else if it's new you do that and they rebuild you as you rebuild them as a reflection of that card too, which is caring and sharing, okay? Because, like, the great sacrifice of what God was is, well, are you willing to keep sacrificing yourself for someone that's going to treat you that well, that bad, <laughs> that bad, or well? Are you going to sacrifice yourself for someone that's going to treat you that bad? Because it's been that destructive in your life that you are literally sacrificing yourself anyway. So things won't get better, they will stay the same. Five, okay? <clears throat> so... So, you also then have the great sacrifice, which God is saying, well, we are paying attention to this, but when you don't pay attention to them, because they attention seek, very much so, okay, when you don't allow that, and you sacrifice things, and you experience a loss in many ways, okay, or seek counsel as well, that's also counsel, okay, or spiritual guidance, or counsel, that's also counsel, that's also law, okay, when you experience that, you do it silently. Because when the narcissist knows that you're pulling away or you're going to make another move, you're going to make another move, they'll make another move towards you to create more confusion and illusion. Okay, that's, well, that's just confusion and illusion of a narcissist, okay? 17.07 on the clock, okay? Um, but that is the illusion of that, is that you realise through ascension of a seven is that people can't take from you that you actually take from the experience. You learn about the experience and then you use this energy in the right way to give it back as a caring, nurturing person. Okay, So this is also about self-deceit too. But this can be like a returning and a passing. Wanting to return to something that, that is caring and nurturing because of someone through my games. Okay, So I'm seeing loads of different stories here to us. Okay? because of someone from mind games and you're you want to you're kind of looking back at the past of someone doing that but you want to run towards someone that's like this okay or they are or you are or whatever okay um and someone because emotional offers they can't come in until spirit knows that you want it through a quality of give and take if you're guarded and you're blocked and you're guarded and you're blocked because of someone else it doesn't form a sense of you accepting or giving so you need to find that through someone that's caring and giving. If they're caring and giving and you're caring and giving, you form a quality together. Okay, you get me? Wow, I don't know where all that came from, but that's what I'm picking up through the cards, guys. So let's have a quick look. But nothing is really... These are not major arcana cards. They're very deceptive cards, but they're not major. It means that it, it, it's not major enough for you to move away from. It might seem that way, but these are points of growth and learning these they're not major arcana cards they're just nasty cards okay to not really have because they're all mental thought they're all swords are thought okay so when you stop someone that is causing that much destruction in your mind no matter what they're because these are all communication too cannot communicate with someone that is that narcissistic because when they feel you moving away okay they come back to control your mind to keep you stuck because they don't want to, they want to keep you there so they can use you for more stuff. If they know that you're going to be receiving abundance in someone else and someone else that's financially stable and committed, okay, like that, and they know, they then fear that they're going to lose you because you're not going to be able to give them everything they want. That's a cycle in a chain of five. That's the strength. That's what you need to learn to move from. This is, this is a lesson here. This is a lesson. Okay, I'll give you enough of that. And under that, you have the King of Pentacles too. You know, and I was pointing to the Queen. So 
you you do have someone around you that's very caring and nurturing and giving. You know, you do because and payday looks great. It's around someone because you have the ten and the queen. That's commitment. That's like a commitment. You know, and then you've got the seven. Um, what was I looking at? The ten, wasn't I? Well, I don't know. But that's that's investment. That's investment. So you've got something that's been built up from the past, okay, that's very committed and stable and something that was come into fruition, okay. And it was a lot of hard work in order to build it, you know. It was like an ascension of a chain of alignment within yourself of your thoughts and feelings. So these are also feelings and these are also seeds well planted within something that's firm and committed, okay. That's also firm and committed. So that's someone that is very caring, sharing and giving. But that whole ascension chain there is creates fucking everything because you can that's just reinvestment and reinvestment because of the pentacle that drops so it's reinvestment 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 re but it's also waiting right it's also waiting but it's also someone that's just creating and creating and creating and creating okay so like we said through that energy okay through the passing and the giving and the going towards but wanting to go towards someone but looking back at worrying about someone from the past or what they're going to do next if I move away push pull push pull push pull no create the stable create the stable okay and then you get your justice they get their justice which is karma dharma you receive your karma for such hard work and effort put into someone that's like that and they receive their dharma then is, which is ever what is set for them because karma trust me Saturn's been present for a while now and it watches and it ticks your effort if you put the effort into yourself to find the goodness and the light within someone else and you you accept sacrifice because it does also mean sacrifice you accept that spirit watches you and it will give you justice and it will give them Dharma for whatever is set for you and them because it's written for you to learn Wow, Taurus, you're giving me my run for my money. <laughs> so let's have a look. Um, death, let's have a look at death. death. What's death mean? Death. But someone could have Libra, Scorpio in their chart. You've got everything but water. So you've got judgment, making a judgment call, which is, and then you've got a five under there too. So wanting transformation, like this is like, this is this is also advice okay this is being called to action of your soul your soul is being called in a new direction okay your soul is being called in a new direction it's probably towards a scorpio energy okay but it's also a calling of meaning that there needs to be transformation you need to accept transformation and death and walk away from the past because this is also past and walk towards the future of people that have stood and trampled all over you and your family for a very long time, okay? And when there's transformation and you move away or you find someone different, like maybe a Scorpio energy or, or this energy because it's below this energy, okay? You make a judgment call on the past, you move away and you receive your justice, which is judgment, okay? So that's good, but that's, that's, that's you know, that is that. So... On, and that can also be a guide and also an awakening to judgment. You know, that's a judgment call. It's ma it means that it's your calling. It's your your call to act. Your call to act. Action changes things. Action changes time. Time is also metaphysics. Okay, but how many times do you want that same thing to happen there? That's why it's a judgment call. That's why it's saying it's down to you. To either move away or find the new. <laughs> Sorry, I've turned into a newsreader again, Taurus. So let's have a look at um, let's have a look at the nine of pentacles. Uh, sorry, the nine of wands. The nine of wands. So silent, being silent. This is also needing to use your intuition. This is Pisces um, or Virgo. Okay. But this is um, needing to use your intuition. This is also a guide, okay? This is also a guide, like trying to guide yourself as well out of like, you know, feeling that way. And that's also, but that's also the silence. 
silence creates more of that. But we'll have a look. Well, you've got the four. So it can just be Pisces that you're interested in a meeting, and that's to do with like a, a foundation of a happy home life. A foundation of a happy home life. Let's have a look at. Um, Let's have a look at the High Priestess again, High Priestess, High Priestess, High Priestess, High Priestess, yeah, so there you go, that is, well that's the sun in Pisces as well in astrology, but that is like karmic justice, so, so you've got justice there, so when this energy is dropped, basically, and you drop the burden, okay, through this advice, you form a quality, you find someone that's stability. If you've got them in your life or you've got them in your mind, Taurus, then that's your advice, is that happiness brings in the abundance. So this is also a psychic and a healer, which is like the silent intuition of Pisces, but that's also a two, okay, which is... You know, um, so we're coming out of uh, year two and we're going into year three, so that's why that comes up with universal balance. So, year three, okay, in a 10 year cycle, forget the old cycle, okay, forget the old cycle and move forward with the new cycle that creates a new life for you that's very abundant and happy, okay. But also your intuition is needed and communication is needed because that's also silent. Okay, Silence keeps this kind of fear of the new because we have to accept the new to forget the old. Okay, So that's more self-accepting. You know, never self-deceive yourself because of someone being self-deceiving to you. You don't learn through that to be the same or to think that you're the same. You move away in order to realise that you're not. And that you can't be controlled and that's where you find strength okay you find stability within yourself and you find equality when you open up channels of communication and happiness and you move forward okay from from past actions from the past actions of heavy burdens that's when you then find that okay so I'm going to leave that there for the moment, okay? Which is also a passionate opportunity, opportunity. So that's op so basically saying opportunity is there. You just need to take it, you know. Um, but anyway, I will leave it there, Taurus. Okay, I'm glad that is. That's a kind of a good reading for you guys. It really is, you know. But we will leave it there because I think that's a good reading. Um, but if you want a private reading to your private situation, okay, I've put a new. Everything is in the description now. Um, how much it is and stuff like that. And I've tried to keep it as cheap as I possibly can. I'm in Britain, so we have pound British sterling. So I've tried to keep it cheap for people, okay? But it's all in the description, and so are your songs if they're there. Okay? All right, Taurus, I will see you at some point during January. Cheers, peace.